I'm sure it's on the new news that our faces need extra care. So on today's YouTube video, I'm going to be letting you all in on my affordable and yet simple FaceTime routine. So hi my love, welcome back to the channel where I'm creating my channel with beauty, skincare and lifestyle. I'm going to tell you all my FaceTime routine. These are affordable, these are simple. Just tell yourself you're going to have a flawless skin. And with this routine, believe me, you will. For my morning time routine, my AM routine, the first thing I would advise you to use is to use a gentle face wash or a gentle soap. Okay. Now, previously, I've been using my Cottage Fresh soap as my face soap and to be honest at the beginning it wasn't bad for me okay it wasn't drying it actually helped me to dry out my pimples it did not dehydrate my skin it did not give me dry skin it did not irritate my skin okay though at that same time i might introduce someone to the soap and she might say it irritated her face it made her face burn um when she left it on her face and stuff then after a while i think my face got I won't, I won't say it got used to it because it started irritating my face after a while. If I leave it on my face for like just 30 seconds, I'm going to start feeling this irritation on my face, okay? So I stopped um, leaving it on my face for a while. Immediately, I put it on my face. I'm washing it immediately. Because it's fresh, wasn't bad for me. People are referred it to. Some of them are seasoned today and it's still good for them. Although, black soap have some non-benefits on the face. So because I've gone a bit more into the skincare thing, I know about this um, non-benefit. So I would advise that if you're using these soaps on your face, you're using a black soap on your face, I'm going to just tell you to discontinue, okay? Because it is not healthy for the face. Although, I'm also going to say, if you are using it and you haven't seen anything that it has pretty much done to your face or any harm that's caused your face, for me, I would say you should keep using it until the day you will see or the day you will feel it. But just to be safe, you could discontinue ASAP, okay? So I use a gentle soap or a gentle face wash. Previously, I used this one from Dove, I think. But in the last couple of weeks, I think about a week, two weeks from now, I got this face wash from VSP. And this is the Transamic and the Skin Peptide Face Wash. I'm not even going to lie, let's not talk so much. I have honestly seen good feedback from my face because of this product, okay? To be honest, I'm not going to lie to you. When I came from camp, I had lots of skin problems. Like, it was a lot, okay? And I tried to venture into some new skin thingy and just to see how my face could come back to life. It wasn't easy, okay? It was working. It was coming gradually, but it wasn't as fast as I wanted it to be, okay? Until I went into this face wash and I'm not even going to lie to you guys. This face wash has actually improved my face in general funny thing is that triazamic acid is used to control bleeding okay when we're having labor here in the hospital i have seen triazamic acid as a medication and when i saw it also for a face wash i had no idea you can use it for your face if you're using it medically it's used to control bleeding heavy and um, period flow nose bleeding and so on but on the skin it actually has its benefits for hyperpigmentation for that spot for melisma is the sunburn we have and um, discoloration pregnant women have during their pregnancy stage okay women we are trying you know so this transamic acid has benefit on the skin and so is sleep petit maybe one of these days i will give you guys a proper proper video of face washes to try out for oily skin combination skin dry skin if you want that please let me know on the comment section down below so the first thing i mentioned like i said is a face soap or a face wash once i'm done with my face wash the next thing to do is to cleanse my face and this is where a face towel comes in please my darlings i will advise you to have a face towel a towel that is different from the one you use to cleanse your body okay um let's not go so far into it just have a face towel okay to help reduce the spread of germs to your face your face needs more attention more attention than your body i'm not going to lie okay the face does need more attention than everybody. You can see some people, their face have like lots of skin condition, but their body is glowing. And you find that you don't have to do so much on your body to actually have so much. For your face, any small thing, we have hormonal acne, we have sunburn, we have stress, we have pregnancy. Like lots of things are just there to just affect your skin. So please take care of your face, okay? So use a face towel that is different from your body towel to cleanse your face 
Now, another thing I would add, I did not put this in my list, but I just remembered. Do not use warm water to wash your face. Maybe if you want to do like face therapy thingy or something you do once in a while, maybe like a monthly time routine, no problem. But if it's something you do daily, you do it morning, you do it at night, I would advise you to please just continue using hot water, warm water, hot water that you mix with room temperature water. Please don't do it. Just use your normal room temperature water on your face. If you're someone that always wants to bathe with um, warm water, no problem. Use that for your body, but please use a room temperature water to wash your face. It will just reduce the amount of irritations you have on your face. Trust me. Just trust me on this one. Now, the next thing I do after cleansing my face is to use my moisturizer. And I'm using this one from Cosex Snail 96. Now, previously, I've not been a lover of moisturizer because in my mind, what exactly am I moisturizing? I'm a combination skin girl. I don't need to moisturize anything. I do not have a dry skin. So what exactly am I moisturizing? Until, like I said, with time, I got better with this skincare thingy. And moisturizing the skin is not just for people that have dry skin, my love. You have oily skin. You have combination skin you have irritated skin you have any skin please moisturize your face it helps with the skin barrier now the closer snail 96 moisturizer it helps not just with the skin barrier it contains agents that don't just help with skin barrier but it also helps to avoid those environmental um, irritants that could damage the skin now the next and the last thing i do after my uh, moisturizer is to use my sunscreen okay baby boys and baby girls i do not know how to overemphasize this but please use your sunscreen okay sunscreen is one of the easiest and the best way to protect the skin appearance and also leave it healthy now in addition to this sunscreen also prevents sunburn it prevents skin cancer and it prevents premature aging i think one time i was watching a documentary and then they showed us two ladies i think Two of them are in their early 70s or so. One of them um, uses skincare products, okay? We talk about your um, exfoliant, we talk about your um, moisturizer, we talk about your sunscreen, and then every other anti-aging thingy there that she uses, okay? And then the other one does not do skincare. She just does her regular everyday thingy and then goes out. And then they compare the both of them, and you can literally see the differences on their faces, okay? You would not tell that the both of them are of the same age. You won't tell because skincare actually helps to reduce the sign of aging. I'm not even going to lie. Before getting sunscreen, I used to always feel like, ah, I don't really need to have sunburn now. What is the need of all this plenty, plenty? I'm not really a white person. I'm black. I'm Nigerian. I don't need the sunscreen. But if you find the benefit of these things, you know that it's not just helping you for now. It is also going to benefit you in the future. So please, baby. Get a sunscreen and use a sunscreen today. Now, this is it for my morning time face routine. Going to my evening PM face routine. Now, the first thing to do is to wash your face using a gentle soap or use this one from VSP. Like I said I used earlier, I use this morning and night. It is that safe, okay? And then you cleanse again with your face style. Now, the next thing I do, I do this just once a week. That is to exfoliate my face with a chemical exfoliant and i personally am using the one from the ordinary aha bh that is the one i am using although there are other good um chemical exfoliants out there i've had one from um i think the paul's choice i would really want to lay my hand on that although i think it's a bit expensive but lay my hand on that and trying it would be a good one okay so i've heard good review about that one too the ordinary aha is not a bad one so just lay your hand on a good chemical exfoliant on your face that you could use one which also if you're a sensitive skin person you might want to reduce it to like once in two weeks or you can see a dermatologist to prescribe a gentle chemical exfoliant for you the next thing i do is my vitamin c serum now before now i have been a user of vitamin c serum in the daytime instead of using it at night now the only thing in using it in the daytime is you have to be conscious of using your sunscreen also because you might tend to get more sun damage than normal if you're using your vitamin c in the day 
time okay um since i'm trying to reduce sunburn even though i am wearing sunscreen i decided to just avoid using my vitamin c serum in the daytime and to use it only at night so i use my vitamin c serum i am currently using this one from the avila okay and um, there are other very good vitamin c serum out there even the ordinary has a vitamin c serum but i have used the one from avila i have used one from pyramid i have a video dedicated to vitamin c serum that i have tried and ones that i actually do love and i don't so i will leave in a link to down in the description box down below so vitamin c helps to brighten the skin it helps to radiate the appearance of the skin give it that glow that your skin needs it also reduces fine line hyperpigmentation and wrinkles so my love you are a young adult you are in your 50s you are in your 80s vitamin c serum is for you okay it's also serve as an anti-aging um, product as well as brightening giving you that radiance appearance vitamin c also works as an anti-aging serum another thing the vitamin c serum does is to even your skin tone the last product is my face cream which is one from skin free like i mentioned earlier this is a simple and affordable face time routine okay i do not do so much on my face and um, these are the things that i am using and i can afford and are actually doing the job for me would i want to venture into other things later probably but now these are what i'm using and they are doing well for me another thing i forgot to mention is my love I would advise you not to use a physical exfoliant on your face okay i also did not mention this earlier i do not use my sponge to wash my face okay using a sponge a hand glove a brush on your face or something you use on your body to use on your face is like exfoliating your face with a physical exfoliant i do not use any of those to wash my face i use a face towel to wash my face this is not the same towel i use to cleanse my face this is a different one from the one i use to cleanse my face this one is always a bit smaller and softer than the one i use to cleanse my face so please not use a physical exfoliant not use a sponge to wash your face i also even know some people that react to face towel on their face so if you are one of those people just use your hands use your palms to wash your face and you are good to go so my loves we've come to the end of this video i hope i was able to touch everything i actually did this is my routine so if there's any question let me know on the comment section down below and with time i know i'm going to be adding a couple of things to my routine but for now this is what i am using and if i'm being honest it is working for me on to my next video stay happy stay blessed and stay safe and let me know if there's any video you want me to create that is relating to my niche i love you bye guys